my gosh, I'm so excited about this video. This feels like such a new chapter. Hello Slayers, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a AuthorTube newbie tag. I am not new to YouTube at all. I've been creating here since 2009, 2013 this channel specifically. And I feel like I may have finally found my true niche. Um, here on my channel, I'm actually doing like content pillars. So it's going to be author tube, book tube, lifestyle, vlogs vibe. But honestly, I'm thinking it'll be heavy on the author tube lifestyle. Book tube, I feel a little like fraudulent because I just do audible. So I don't know if I'm like relatable <laughs> in that sense. So I don't know. Let me know if all three of those excite you though. Also, hi, if any other author tubers are watching, please drop a comment below. I would love to check out your channel and I'm just so inspired by all of you guys. This has been such a cool new revelation to me. I don't wanna make this video long or rambly, so I'm just gonna get into the questions. This tag was created by Jenna Streety, which I found out through other author tubers. I believe she has like a part two or 2.0 version as well, which I think maybe I'll do like a follow up newbie six months in newbie or something like that idk but yeah part of me feels like i need to give a little backstory but i don't know if that's answering the questions i honestly i didn't even really like proofread the questions because i wanted to go in kind of blind okay yeah i'm just going to start the questions and i think my storyline <laughs> will transcribe through the questions. First one is, how did you find out about AuthorTube? So I've been following Jenna Morrissey, Morrissey forever, it seems like. She's definitely the first writer YouTuber advice that I've found and followed for the longest, probably followed by Abby Emmons. Before the actual niche term AuthorTube, I've never heard until a month ago. Had I known about this, I feel like I would have found my path on YouTube maybe a little sooner, because out of everything, I'm so passionate about my story that I want to tell, which we're obviously going to get into, but that would be through the author tuber, Cody the Writer. Shout out. Thank you so much for making your, I believe, like a, a year or six months as an author tuber. I honestly, I can't believe I never heard of this niche, but I never looked or known Jenna's channel as an author tuber, an author tube. I feel like she doesn't use that term at all, which is weirdly surprising. Maybe she does, I don't really know. But shout out to Cody because he awoken the beast inside, basically. But yeah, that's how I found out about AuthorTube. Okay, the next question is, what genre do you write in? Currently working on my first project. I've been working on this idea since 2016. November vibes, actually, October, November, kept going through different phases and I couldn't fully connect. I'll probably talk more about this in a different video. Didn't really know what the problem was until recently. I figured it out without realizing what it was and right now I'm the furthest I've ever been into a writing project. So in love with these characters. I need to get them out of my head and, and to you guys because I just need to share the homies with you guys because they won't stop bothering me. So I don't know if this is a thing but I want it to be my thing. Again talk about this more in future videos. I think straight up I write in the supernatural fantasy genre. I'm writing a romantic to see but I would love to write in all different types of genres not so much like sci-fi but like supernatural paranormal straight up romance mystery thriller horror like that would be the vibes what I would love to be like known for is having all of my stories in the same world so I don't want to reveal like the town's name but for example I'm writing this romanticy series but one day I might just want to write a straight up romance and have it set still in the town of all my other books or at least like the universe 
So whether like something super natural is happening or not, the viewer on the outside is going to know that there is magic in this world, just these characters have no idea about it. I just, there's something so cool about that to me. I don't know. I don't know if this has been done before, um, but probably it's been done. I don't know. And basically, I feel like the way I'm going to do that is by placing them in the town. Also, like, if I want to write, like, a horror thriller that's not supernatural, like, it would still be in the town, but it wouldn't be supernatural, if that makes sense. In the world, you know the lore of that town and how anything could happen. <sighs> uh, I'd low-key say the town's name right now, but there's a small part of me that feels like I might change it, so I don't know, it's, it's too soon. I will say that it's a Dale, currently. Okay, question three is, what's your preferred writing tense, point of view, and character of story? Character of story meaning children's, YA, NA, adult, etc. I don't even know what NA is. Anyhow, for me, like if I'm listening to an audiobook or reading, I definitely prefer first person. With this story, I started writing it in third person. I got three chapters in about, mainly because I have so many characters that it would be like it's too hard. But like as I wrote the three chapters, I'm so happy I caught it so soon before like writing the whole thing. And like being like no I decided that I'm going to do first person I'll have multiple POVs from different characters in the one book which is kind of uncommon for some reason I want my book to feel like a TV show so like it's just what's working for me and then for my tense I love a present tense I want to say that that's actually also not popular I think it's mostly past tense but I like feeling in the moment I like being there living in the moment in their head right there when you're reading it it's like the most intense I think my style of writing is pretty casual too so I like feeling you're kind of like talking to the author and I just think that's the best way for me personally for my category I believe I'll always only write adult I started this journey in 2016 I think it started off as like a young adult for me like I don't want to write children I love Buffy the Vampire Slayer it's my life my soul and heavily inspired by the book I'm writing. Pretty much a teen drama, or definitely starts that way, the show. So that's kind of the way I went into it. I thought I would like be in high school. And I just turned 30, well, not just, I'm almost 31. So I can't relate. I don't want to be in a teenager's head. I want to be in a late 20, early 30 year old head and as I go I want to grow with these characters I do have like a 17 year old so I get to experience it all and I even write in her head in some chapters so like I love that but my book is even low-key like a little erotica I need a boyfriend <laughs> number four is such a torturous question for me am I a plotter a pantser or a planter is it plant my true journey has always been I start off plotting I get too excited so I start writing which turns into pantsing and then I reach a point where I'm like okay we got a plot so I guess that makes me a planter but I would say if I had to pick one I would say I'm a pantser like the idea of just figuring out the story as I go is so fun to me. Like, I wish I didn't have to plot it, but you have to have something, I think. So yeah, I'm a planter, I guess. Am I saying that right? A planter. I said a planter. What did I say? I'm a planter. That being said, I don't think my outlines will be like 30 pages long ever. Like I want room to pants. So yeah, I guess I'm a mixture. That being said, I'm at a point where I have to roughly plot the rest of the book or else it's gonna stress me out as much as I want to just pants. 
Question five is, are you a self-published, published, or yet to be published? I'm yet to be published. As I said, this is my first book that I'm writing, but I'm gonna be self-published, I guess. Ideally, self-published and then picked up and like a republished vibe, if that makes sense. What author tube related videos can we expect to find on your channel? Like I said in the beginning, I'll have a mix of booktube, author tube, and lifestyle vlogs, but really I'd love to just have them totally merged. My favorite kind of author tubers is when they're like going to the cafe, writing, like blah blah blah. My biggest thing is I can't be locked into doing one thing, like I will go insane. I'll lose the passion, so I gotta keep it funky fresh. But like I said, I really think AuthorTube is going to be such a special place in my heart because I have the biggest passion for me doing this book. I went to film school. I thought I was gonna be a movie director. I had a screenwriting class and that changed my life. I left wanting to be a writer, specifically a screenwriter, but I realized what makes the most sense is to just write a book. Like, I just want to storytelling. It just makes the most sense to write a book instead of screenplays and, like, hoping it gets out there to be probably done by, like, not good actors, like, to begin with and stuff like that. The dream would be to get a film or a TV series from my books, and the best thing about that is I'll always have my rights to the book. The true story will always be there. What was the first story you ever wrote? Probably goes back to 2009 with my friend. My first movie was I made when I was 14, a short film. I feel like my friend Loki wrote most of it. He was good with like being focused and like getting it done where like I was like la la la. I would say that's my first story and then I mean jump ahead to in, co in college I had the creative writing class and like I wrote a couple things there and that was like in 2014 10 years ago what okay so yeah it was called nightmare it's actually on youtube and I'm so proud of it to this day for being 14 and making that. I'm not going to give you guys the link to it because I feel like one day I'll bring it to you guys here or something. I don't know. Like, I would love to do a commentary on it. But yeah. What authors have inspired my writing the most? Screenplays low-key is what I love. I love writing dialogue. It's my favorite thing. My biggest struggle is writing the atmospheric stuff in like a book. I didn't grow up like a book reader. I have dyslexia and it's just not the vibe. That's also why I do like the audible journey. But like I said, Buffy is my favorite show of all time since I'm eight years old. And Joss Whedon, the creator of the show, is who I'm most inspired by. His writing, I love the wittiness with the horror, but the smarts. If to me, he just gives a full package and just everything that I love and enjoy in my media. Do you schedule your writing sessions or simply get to writing whenever you find the time. This is pretty new to me. Like, I started writing this book again, scrapping it from the start in September. I'd like to get to a place where I write every day, even if it's for 10 minutes, 10 to 30 minutes. I feel most clear-headed and inspired right in the morning, but I do have a reaction channel, so like I like to put my energy into the video, and then like writing I could just write whenever I'm in the zone, like you know what I mean? So it really does depend daily, but I feel like with my AuthorTube journey, I will kind of find my schedule. Stay tuned in the vlog to see how I operate. Do you write on the computer, typewriter, write everything out by hand, or use a blend of those? And where do you write in general? So I definitely only use a computer, my laptop, shout out Mac. And where I write in general has been, we have like a spare bedroom, technically like my brother's room, but he never lived here. So I call it my office bed. 
and I like being in different environments or like being in a certain environment to work. Right now I'm at like my desk where I film. I actually started writing in here because I wanted to be like astute like writing at a desk, but I have my tray thing and I put my laptop, I'm on the bed, so I write in the other side of the house. But I mean, I want to start getting out there going to coffee shops i have this really good coffee shop that's by me with a couch so like i could literally feel like i'm at home i don't know i don't have a set spot but i would say my office bed is my number one spot that's also like where i edit my videos and stuff so okay so the final question is what are you looking most forward to now that you're a part of author tube and i'm sure a lot of people say this this is with anything and everything i do I'm looking for community babes. I want to be with like-minded people. I don't have other writer friends. I'm the black sheep in every situation. I have a good friend that's like reading my story as I write it, which is also a lot of people don't say that's like a good thing to do, which like I definitely get and it adds a pressure, but like it's also adds like that I'm doing something right because she's excited to read it, she's into it, she's getting it, she's living, laughing, and loving. But yeah, like I, with everything, I'm seeking community, an army of slayers. Welcome to the Slayer Army here on AuthorTube. Yeah, so I hope you guys are excited for this next chapter. Um, I'm doing my first Nano Rhino. Like, stop, I can't. Um, I don't know anything really about the drama. What I heard definitely doesn't sound good, but I'm doing my version of it. I'm not writing 50k words in a month. I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> So yeah, this is honestly the perfect time to really launch the AuthorTube content pillar. This is probably delusional talk, but I'd like to post oh God, every other day in November. Maybe I'll, I'll just end up doing weekly. I don't really know. I'm already starting off at a rocky start because I'll be in New York. And that's what I mean. Like I kind of want to vlog that too and like have the lifestyle aspect there. So we'll see. Again, comment below if you are excited for this or if you are an author tuber, I'd love to check you out. Give me some good juju for November. Would you guys watch my videos if I posted every other day starting the second week of November? Yeah, I hope I see you guys very soon in my next video. It's Billy, bitch.